to be standing here today, partnering with Mr. Arthur Hoffman from Tesco Jed, Pani Eva and Mr. Roman also from Tesco Jed, the most wonderful partners in enabling all of us to come together to inaugurate and to start the process of creating a center for the righteous amongst the nations here in Warsaw. Too many people visit Poland and take trips to the death camps without understanding or seeing the other side connected to these dark and difficult times. For us to be here with our wonderful, wonderful friends, Pani Alicia, remaining righteous left here today in Poland, it's something that we can only be grateful and thankful for. The process that we've started is a process we're working with Mr. Jacek Rosenik, one of the best known and famous actors here in Poland, who's enabled us and worked with us to start filming the righteous. We're filming the righteous in a special and a unique way, asking 100 questions of the righteous. These 100 questions will then go into a system that enables people to speak to the screen and hear back from the righteous. All of this, again, would not have been possible without the incredible leadership of Mr. Arthur Hoffman and the work of Tess Gajet. And two, here today we must thank publicly and openly also the city of Warsaw. Unfortunately, the mayor was unable to be with us, but we're very happy that the head of the culture department is here today for standing alongside us as too, we're very thankful to Galanco, the building firm that has undertaken the rebuild of this incredible project, both rebuilding Jewish culture here in Poland with a new Jewish theater, bringing back Jewish life to the heart of what once was Jewish Warsaw. It's also a ginormous honor for us here that we have the deputy speaker of the Knesset, Mr. Chilik Baal, flown from Israel especially for this occasion. Chilik is the president of the Polish Israel Parliamentary Group and the story of the righteous, as you'll hear, is something that he takes very seriously and something that he feels personally about. To our we're incredibly grateful that the Secretary of State, Mrs. Anna Maria Anders, is able to join us. Anna Maria Anders is the foremost speaker for Poland. And to have her here telling the story and taking part in this in wonderful and important initiative is something again that we're grateful for, as we are grateful to the Deputy Speaker of the Senate, Mr. Adam Bielan, for taking his time from a Sunday, it's not easy, I know, away from the family to join us here. We're also very grateful that we're able to partner with Dr. Stoss from Markova, from the amazing institute set up, the only museum in Poland working with the issue of the righteous. We're going to be visiting there as part of our delegation tomorrow evening. Thank you to Mr. Michał Czelwa, the head of the Polish-Israel Parliamentary Group, for joining us as well. And again, we're lucky. We're lucky that we're able to come together with the righteous. We're lucky that there are still around 200 still with us today. But it's also our responsibility, as the third and fourth generation from the Holocaust, to stand and do what's right, and make sure that their stories are documented because the story of the righteous is the story that we need to understand and what we need to learn from. We're also very honored that the Warsaw Bar Association has joined us here today, taking part and joining in with our project. And again, thank you to all of you for coming out on this cold, rainy day to join us in writing and signing the inauguration letter to open the Center for the Righteous here in Warsaw. Thank you very much.